6.30 in the morning. I usually start my day about 5 o'clock. I am currently in Washington, so many people know that I am a travel nurse. And so I like to start my day early. I think it's one of the things that makes people successful. Plus, it's a beautiful day. It's 5.30 here in Washington, and it's pretty much daylight outside. I work in the specialty area of interventional cardiology and radiology, so it's very procedural type nursing. What I'm going to do this morning is show you how I prepare my meals for work. I work 10 hour shifts and today I go in at 8 to take you through the process of what I pack, what I prep um, for those 10 hour days. Sometimes it's hard to get my meals in and sometimes I'm hungry. I have had days where even though I've prepped all the food that I've had, I have not sat or eaten or you know had any water from 8 to let's say like 2.30, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So from that point on you just you can't say, oh I give up. You know, you just still get your meals in even though you're super hungry or super thirsty. It's really not an excuse for go off the plan, especially even more so when you're in competition prep. So I always try to have some power bars um, that fit my macros or, you know, some veggie sticks, stuff like that, that I can try to eat on the go to sustain me until I can have my meal. Um, but sometimes it just doesn't happen. So yeah, he wants to say hi this morning. Just kind of show you how I prep my lunch, my mid-morning meal and Sometimes I pack my um, pre-workout, sometimes I don't, it kind of depends. I kind of like coming home and making that because it gets me in the mindset of working out. So this isn't the best lighting, but we'll make do. So in the middle of prepping my food, I usually eat my breakfast. I usually try to do this all the night before depending on time, but I wanted to enjoy my Sunday evening, so I just didn't, it was all cooked, it was all ready to go, it just wasn't measured out. So one of the things that I love to do is baked tofu, and I do that mid-morning, usually with some fats. I love this hope sriracha. A little side rant here. Um, people complain about tofu all the time, and what I like to tell them is, if your tofu is not tasting great, then you're not preparing it correctly, or you haven't had tofu that is prepared well or seasoned well. It's kind of the same thing for people who eat meat. How many people just eat plain chicken? Without any seasoning, without anything. Does chicken really taste like anything? In my opinion, and some people may argue, no. Um, in the past, because I used to eat meat, obviously I was raised eating meat with every meal, bacon, eggs, um, milk in the morning. I mean, kind of repulses me now to think about it. But nutritionally, my parents felt like they were doing what was best. And that's, you know, as a consumer, that's what you're taught. That's how they were raised. So I can't blame them for that. But side rant, done. Tofu when prepared correctly is pretty amazing and I like it. So I do some tofu, do some fats, lots of veggies. Nothing's ever bland or boring because if it's bland and boring I'm not going to eat it. I love my Fitmark bag. My meal prep containers, they're pretty amazing. It's my go-to. Um, so we talked about meal Two. So for lunch, my third meal, I'm going to be doing this Beyond Chicken, which by the way, if you haven't had this, I actually questioned whether this was vegan or not because the consistency and the flavoring, this, this stuff is awesome. Been loving these sweet peppers, so I'll chop up some of that to go with it. A serving of avocado or fat. I love asparagus too, so I plan on having plenty of asparagus with chicken and some sweet bells and avocado. And then for carb source, complex carb, delicious.
since I am on competition prep, I will throw in some extra little bag of broccoli, carrots, things like that to kind of, if I'm just starving for some reason, which I haven't had any problems, I'll have something to kind of sustain me. So right now I'm doing a banana and chocolate organic plant protein smoothie. It's one of my favorites. Right now I'm not doing any fasted cardio, so I'm kind of thankful for that. Um, but you'll see I just blend it with some ice and enjoy and then kill my workout. These delicious homemade vegan chocolate chip cookies are what I get to enjoy on my high carb day. Super easy recipe. website lw-saradavis.org.